Okay, uh, a big one that we mentioned in the Facebook group. It's very simple to start, but I think very powerful and helpful for you guys. The ability to have draggable content blocks when you're building your web pages. And I'll show you a couple of ex examples of how you can take advantage of this uh, right now. Uh, if you've been with us in previous webinars, uh, we've talked about how you can use tables to kind of create nice landing pages uh, with images and text. So this kind of just helps you a little bit extra by having predefined blocks when you're creating pages. So let me show you where you can uh, set this up. If you go to edit web pages, and we'll do a new web page, and we'll call the URL content blocks. That's fine. Um, and we'll just put a title, sample content blocks. So uh, what you all have in your sidebar here are draggable content blocks here. And there's just five of them to start, and they're probably the most common ones used when you're building out or stacking up a web page with content. Um, I'll start with one of my favorites is the three column feature list. And all you do is, is take it from the sidebar and drag it into the editor. And what we've done with all the blocks is each section will include four main items to make it easier for you to modify them. So it will include an image, a title, some kind of dummy text here that you can certainly remove or edit, and then an action link, which is the same. You can edit or uh, remove it. So let's start with the images. Let's say I wanted to have a benefits list uh, on a page. So I'll click on an image, and this is good just so you guys know how to use the editor a bit. This is a quick tutorial for you guys. So I want to just swap out this image with something else I have on the site. Um, I'll go to the media uh, manager folder here, and I have some three images that I'm going to replace these images with. And what I've done is they're square images and I've made sure they're the same width and height uh, just so I can make sure I have a uniform look on the page. So I have those there and of course, you know, this could be feature one, make it bold. I'll just do this, feature two, or these could be testimonials, whatever you want. You could have it here, uh, change the text. Another thing you can do uh, on this image while we're here actually is you can make it a circle. So if they're if you're uploading square images, what's nice is you can change them to be circles. And then of course you don't need to have the links or it depends on, on the section or what you're promoting here. But we've talked about this in previous webinars. You can now, uh, one, you can edit the link. So maybe you want this to go to your join page and then you can change Click on this style here, and the button colors that you've set up in your design settings, you can select them here. So let's say we wanted to use the danger button style. You can change that to red. Um, let's say this page you wanted to go to your about section, and we can change the button style to primary, and so on. And if we save the changes here, we can then view the page. And, you know, we've very quickly just using those pre-made content blocks, we swapped out the, the images with our own. You know, we updated the title, uh, the, uh, the links a bit. So let's add another content block here. So here it is, you can just toggle this open. And in this case, let's add a text with image right. And let's do another swap out here with this image. We'll use this one here. And same thing, you have an image, a title, some description text, and if you want to keep the link, uh, you can certainly do so. Uh, if you want to unlink it, you can just have plain text, or you could just delete the section by highlighting it and clicking back. So let's just save this now. We'll just build out a little a page here together. Pretty self-explanatory. Again, very simple what we've, what we've created here. So this is a image on the right with text on the left. And then another one, if you wanted uh, another list of features, we do have the four column feature list. I'll add that here. I'll add it without any modification. And then the last one is an FAQ module. It doesn't need to be used as an FAQ module. It could really be for, for anything. It could be what benefits come with the membership level. And you can certainly change these with uh, 
title text for the benefit and, and a more detailed description. I'll go ahead and save this. And you can see here we have these, these sections here, these action links to swap out the images, the titles. If you don't need one of these four elements, of course, you can remove them. And here's something else pretty cool. So this, this is using the table functionality. So you can create your own table if you, if you want um, with columns and rows. But what's really nice is this is with three. If you wanted to get rid of one, you could just click on the cell and you can delete this column as an example. Let's go ahead and do that. So now we have two side by side and let's save the web page. And we'll refresh the page. So we can see here now, um, you know, we have side by side content. So just with a little bit of modification, I do recommend playing around with the text editor, you know, adding columns, adding rows, um, dropping in blocks now. This can help familiarize you so you can, uh, you know, create your own landing pages and really get the message across with both quality imagery and good titles uh, and text and also action links of things that you want people uh, to do on the site. So we can see here the frequently asked questions. Again, this could be used for anything. Just swap out the, the pre-made text that's listed here. David, did I leave out anything that we should be mentioning about this uh, uh, draggable content here? I think you covered most of it. We did get really good question that Vincent sent in. He wanted to know if we could use these draggable content blocks on the home page as well. And we could do that by using the custom home page content mm -hmm. functionality, right? Yes, so you can. It was just overlooked in this push. It should have been included. Uh, you'll, you'll notice here it's not available here in the home page. However, probably by the end of this week, you'll have this draggable content block section when you're editing your home page. And he is correct in the design settings. Uh, you can select to display custom home page content under home page layout, home page section orders you can certainly select custom homepage content. And when you select this, guys, what this is gonna do on your homepage is it's going to correspond from what you've put in your edit web pages for your homepage content here in this block here. Because uh, generally the homepage information is all by the homepage search settings up here, but uh, you can certainly stream a uh, custom homepage content on your site. So yes, Vincent, the draggable content will be available for the homepage uh, probably by the end of this week or early next week at the latest.